Okay, here we're going to start getting into the algebra, um, which is very exciting. Algebraic expressions. This is going to be our very first topic here. What are they? Well, here's our definition. An algebraic expression is made up of numbers, variables, or a combination of both. It could also be a combination of operations on variables and numbers. So, for instance, it says an algebraic expression is made up of numbers. It could just be simply 2. That is considered an algebraic expression. It happens to be a real number, but it could also be called an algebraic expression. Or we could be looking at variables. So another example of an algebraic ex expression would be x. Or a combination of both could be 2x. It could also be a combination of operations on variables and numbers. could be something like um, 2x plus 5. All four of these are considered algebraic expressions. It's just a, a way of writing numbers and letters um, so that we you know, have something to work with mathematically. Now, I wrote down x whenever I said variable, and I just assumed that you knew what that meant. But a variable is a letter that's holding the place of a number. This represents something that we don't know. Um, for instance, when we say 2x, we're saying 2 times whatever this number is. If this number x happened to be a 4, then we would say 2 times 4. If it happened to be a 12, we would say 2 times 12. So that variable is an unknown amount or an unknown number. If we knew what the number was, then we wouldn't use the letter. We'd just write the number. Make sense? Okay. If you replace the variable with a number, then we call that evaluating the expression. Now don't forget, order of operation always rules the world. So we're going to have to take that into consideration when we look at these. Okay, here's an example so you can see what I'm talking about. This says evaluate the expression for, and here's kind of our criteria. x will equal 10, y will equal 3, and z will equal 4. So here we have an algebraic expression. It's made up of numbers, letters, and operations on those. x is holding the place of some number we don't know. But in this case, they actually told us that x is 10. So we're going to replace x with 10. Let me just do that here. We're going to replace x with 10. They say y is 3, so we're going to replace y with 3. And they said that z is equal to 4, so we're going to replace z with 4. Now I'm going to rewrite this a little bit nicer out here to the side. So that would be 10 plus, now this says 2 times y. Remember, when there's no operation in between, we always know that that's multiplication. So I'm going to rewrite this like this, 2 times 3. Remember, the um, parentheses can also be used as a multiplication. And then over 4. Now, the evaluating part of it is not only substituting in the number for the letter, but then also to go ahead and simplify it. So here on the, in the numerator, we would have to say do the, the multiplication before the addition. So that would be 10 plus 2 times 3 would be 6, all over 4. And then don't forget, this is a mini, um, you know, uh, there's an understood grouping symbol here in the numerator. We have to do that first. So 10 plus 6 would be 16 over 4. And now we can finish evaluating. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So this is what it means to evaluate an expression. We plug in the numbers that they give us and then we simplify or do everything we can to bring that down to a, um, a single number or as simple as we can possibly make it. Now notice one thing I want to point out here. Nowhere in here did I put an equal sign. If there's not one in your original problem, you should not put one in your work. It's a very good rule to get into the habit of.